but we're at two health. We can't afford to lose any more. Not even one. Like that's we gotta hang on to every bit of health we have now. <laughs> so lose that. Any non dragons they have that look cool. For us, not really. Yeah! What a Woo! <laughs> two life, baby! Yeah! Oh my god, what? Hello everybody, what's up, what's going on? My name's Kyle, thank you for stopping by to check out my video. Today, uh, on my channel, we are looking at another Turgrid build. Oh, I just called it Turgrid, it's kind of boring. I don't know. Give me a new name in the comments, something more exciting than just Turgrid. Here's Turgrid over there, we got four copies. Uh, this is one of the few uh, types of legendaries that I like running four copies of because we have two different legendary creatures we can play in this. Kind of like Halvar in some of my equipment decks. You may have noticed, again, it's like because I like playing the sword or Halvar. They're both good. One earlier game, one later game. Turgid and Turgid's Lantern are a little different. Four mana to five mana. Um, but the Turgid's Lantern can be super annoying uh, for our opponent. It can often win us games. It's just, it's really lethal. Uh, we really want to cast Turgid if we think we're actually going to be able to make them sacrifice and discard permanent cards because then we get control of them. So how we're doing that. Uh, well, some of the new cards, let's go over some of the new cards from the new, new set that we're adding to help us with that. Invoke Despair, pretty obvious one. As it says in the card, each op or target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life, you draw a card. You know how this all works. I've, uh, I've already gushed over Invoke Despair, I think, in my Mono Black deck already. Uh, mono Black Control, this is Mono Black Turgrid. Um, but yeah, and you repeat this process for Enchantment and Planeswalkers. So uh, it's pretty powerful just for hurting our opponent, drawing cards, uh, for ourselves and just making them sacrifice kind of like a miniature makeshift board wipe sort of thing but it's all sacrifice so that all goes with Turgid really well uh, Junji is another good one that I think goes with Turgid well not only is it a great beatdown for a 5 mana 5-5 five, five <laughs> flying with menace but uh, when this guy dies we can either uh, make our opponent discard two cards or we can put a non-dragon creature card from a great A graveyard onto the battlefield so we can even use this to get Turgid back out of the uh, graveyard uh, when Junji dies we can get Turgid back out of the graveyard if we've lost Turgid or our opponent had removal or something like that which most opponents will remove Turgid as soon as they see her. Uh, we've got Soul Shatters here. Um, oh that, those are the new cards at least for uh, that go with Turgid. We got some more over here with uh, Chef but I'm uh, getting back to just where I am in the deck here. We got Soul Shatter for more sacrifice classic one that's always been good with Turgrid uh, ever since Turgrid was printed. Uh, everybody's loved combining Soul Shatter with Turgrid because it makes your opponent sacrifice either a creature or Planeswalker that is most likely going to be the most powerful creature or Planeswalker that they have. It's the highest mana cost, but it'll not power per se, but it'll most likely be their, their best thing that they got um, out of creatures and Planeswalkers. Um, but we also got Acquisition Expert, just three copies. Uh, because I was making a sacrifice base. What are we going to do early game to defend ourselves while we set up Turgrid, set up our more expensive spells that win us the game? So it's like, well, it's, we're mono black, so, you know, the, the classic mono black base. A few things different. Uh, I substituted Village Rites instead of Deadly Dispute, uh, simply because it's just, it's half the mana cost, and we're basically doing the same thing. We don't have a lot of enchantments here. We barely create treasure. Shambling Ghast is it right? Turgrid's Lantern is an artifact, but we really don't want to be sacrificing that to our Deadly Dispute, right? We do have that same ability with Dockside Chef, right? So by switching Dockside or Skullport Merchant to Dockside Chef, right, to get the lower mana cost, and he ha now has the ability to sacrifice any artifact rather than just a, a creature or a uh, treasure. Now Village Rites is in place of Deadly Dispute, which can't sacrifice artifacts, but like I said, it shouldn't really matter. We don't want to sacrifice our lantern. We don't create enough treasures for it to usually really matter. So uh, yeah, it's half the mana cost, really great. Um, so my whole sacrifice base is here. 12 one mana cards. Uh, Eye Twitch and Shambling Gas are your classic ones for uh, sacrifice creatures because they're just so good when they die and the abilities that they can do. Dockside Chef, I don't mind sacrificing itself. I'll try to hold on to it as long as I can to get the benefit of that his ability. But otherwise, we're okay to sacrifice them. And the same with Acquisitions Expert. I like to throw two mana, sacrifice creatures in builds like this. So Acquisitions Expert, because it goes with Turgrid, you get that discard. And you know what? That Just that little, little zest of uh, discard in this deck really shuts down opponents, especially late game. 
We've got nothing good to bring out of our uh, graveyard with Blood on the Snow. The last card I haven't talked about, it doesn't really synergize with Turgrid very well, but it's a great control card. We can get Turgrid back out of the graveyard. If she dies, we can use this to clear the board and get her back. We can clear Planeswalkers and get her back. We can get Junji back. Uh, we can attack with Junji. Blood on the Snow, so Junji dies, <laughs> if he doesn't die in combat. Get his triggers from him dying and get him back out of the graveyard because of the Blood on the Snow. What? Attack? Get its death triggers and get it back. And wipe the board. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it goes really good in the deck. That's why we got all these snow mana here. We've got five non-snows with three Hive of the Eye Tyrants, exiling their graveyard, having creature lands is always handy. And then two Tekken, Tekkenuma? Abandoned Mire. Uh, this for the channel. Uh, just, you know, it's really great. Again, we can get stuff out of our graveyard with this and back into our hand. Creature or Planeswalker. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the whole deck. Uh, give me the stats. Give me the freaking stats. Why is that happening? I had trouble with that last video, too. <laughs> give me the freaking stats. I'm clicking it. <laughs> Anyways, 21 creatures, 15 non-creatures, uh, 20, 20, 29. <laughs> 29 mana average. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, 2.9 mana average, 24 lands. Uh, I didn't want to reduce those. We do have a lot of high-costing stuff down here. So, and that's really powerful stuff. That's how we win a lot of the games. Um, she wears it all down here with our Turgrid, our Lantern, our Junji, all that stuff down there, really good. And, uh, oh, the sideboard because of the, the eye twitch, two Enviro Sciences, Necrotic Fumes, Pest Summoning, like I've mentioned that all before. Annihilation I don't normally do. We got the Necrotic Fumes, but this is to handle anything that's non uh, creature or planeswalker, anything, enchantments, uh, artifacts, and stuff like that. I like to have at least something in the sideboard to do that. And since we're mono black, we actually don't have anything to do that. And we don't create enough treasures in here for me to uh, do containment breach, which is why I have two pest summonings uh, to clutter up the early game if we need to. We do have annihilation if we really need to remove an artifact or enchantment. And then mascot exhibition for a powerful creature, rush of creatures, post board wipe. Uh, when we board wipe here, we, get a, we hit one of our own eye twitches that dies and we get a mascot exhibition. Next turn, we're right back on the field. Big field presence. Stop us now. Ah, uh, that's the deck. I think it's pretty sweet. I had some fun. The first game was in the play queue. It was just warming up, but it turned out really nice, so I kept it in the video. Um, really fun game. So that you'll be seeing first with a couple of ranked games after that. Hope you enjoy. Remember to hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Also, thumbs up for the video, and make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think of everything. So let's go take a look at those games. All right. Whoa. With a treasure from Shambling Gas, we're one away from casting Invoke. I feel like it's kind of risky. Well, you know, if we get good draw, maybe it'll work out. <coughs> I guess that's always the situation, isn't it? If you get good draw, maybe it'll work out. That's pretty decent. So now with the treasure, we do have uh, enough for invoke. Hopefully they leave our stuff alone for a turn. So I'd like to be able to use the chef's ability. And we cannot do that right now because we don't have the mana. Turn some of that around there. Uh, attack in. At the end of their turn, we will use the chef's ability on the gas, get a treasure. We know we have a mana here to cast Invoke. That gets us some extra card draw, forces them to sacrifice this. When do they get this guy? I gotta read him. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell if you don't control a human name there. so they have to cast an enchantment spell to get that toad thing so let's hit this get our treasure like our plan was <clears throat> draw an extra card not a land fine let's go still not a land not bad though with turgrid mm -hmm. i'm thinking because i'm like if if we play Turgid, if we sack the treasure, we can get Turgid before we invoke. But I think we should invoke first so we can get a mana. 
Hopefully we'll get a land. We're going to draw two cards. I think we invoke. That's what we use the treasure for. Because we'll get card draw. We should get another land somewhere in there, hopefully. Or not. So next turn we'll draw a land because we just drew through a patch of non-lands, right? Or we can just play a uh, lantern. So what is this thing? Uh, there's a creature in camp on here. Okay. So at the beginning of the upkeep, lose one life. So they're draining us for one life. Oh, there's another land. That's what we're looking for. He can't block. What is this guy doing? Deals damage to a player, move a menace counter, player reveals their hand, choose a non-land card from it, exile that card. That's bad. We kind of don't want that to happen. <sighs> this is not a blocker. We can cast two of these and still have mana for our village rights. And then we have double blocker for this guy and his menace. <laughs> and we're also making him discard while we play it. Ooh, this will be annoying for them. Ooh. I say that's... Yeah, obviously that's what I'm doing. Both of these hold up a village rights. That's double discard, really, yeah. I really want to get Turgrid! I want to... I want to get Turgrid, and I want to cast Invoke Despair after we get Turgrid. So that's what we discard. Another one of these guys. Hello. Show me another one. Okay, I definitely don't mind getting rid of that. So now we end turn. When does this trigger? Uh, at the beginning of our upkeep. So at their end step, we sacrifice this to village rights before we take our upkeep. Uh, so they're still going to get to do that. That's crappy. So they're going to take our Invoke Despair almost indefinitely. Maybe Turgrid. But let's get our card draw. We won't be we won't have a target to holy really village rights into two other village rights. Ouch. So yeah, here they get to look at our hand now and take something. Probably invoke despair, maybe Turgrid, because we don't have any sacrifice afterwards. What is this? This is a three three, I think, yeah. They take the invoke, so I'm not terribly surprised by that. My next thought was Turgrid. I didn't think they would go for Blood on the Snow, although we can Blood on the Snow now and get what back? Mm. More discard. <laughs> Wouldn't they love that? So we don't want to have Turgrid out... Well, I guess we could have Turgrid out when we Blood on the Snow, because uh, we just get it back. We have, no, we only have four, four snow lands, so we can't get Turgrid back. Do we go with mm, the lantern? Or do we just get something, board wipe their guy, and then get our chumper, our little guy back? Maybe we get a dockside merchant back. No, we can, we got village rights. Yeah, let's do this. We'll make them discard yet another one. They're gonna, what, ping us for one here? Yeah. They're down to two cards. Okay. I don't know if we get Turgrid out this game. That sucks. <laughs> we might do Lantern, but probably not Turgrid. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, this hits enchantments, right? Yes, it does. Creature, enchantment, planeswalker. We'll draw one card. They'll lose two life. And life will be amazing. Or we play Turgrid, hope they don't have removal. Because then we can use Tur Ooh, That's a sweeter play. I really want to do that. If they have removal, hmm. 
I want to try it. We'll still have one mana, right? Yes, we will. For our village rights. Let's do it. They know we have it, so we end turn. I should have just... Probably should have played Invoke Despair. Ew. That's disgusting. So what are they doing? 2-2 two, two on that guy. Oh, so they kill our turret is what they're going for here. Um, so we don't get to, uh, still don't get to invoke after Turgrid, but, uh, do we want to let these guys take that down? I say we probably do that. I really want to cast my village rights on that stuff, but we have, we have a invoke to spare from our card draw because they've got two of these enchantments. They'll probably sack this one and keep their meat hook. We can village rights now. I think that's what we do. Uh, they gain a life, I guess. We're equal in life. Mana's not bad. Another Turgrid. They're down to one card. <sighs> I want my Turgrid to stay on the field. <laughs> we tried again. I Twitch. Still got a village rights on deck. They gain another life here. Ugh. What do we get? Critters. Mascots. We got lots of mana. We do have exactly seven mana. We won't be casting this right away, though. Holy village rights this game. Oh, at least we've been able to keep on the gas. Oh, of course they do. Of course they do. Just like, no matter what. Play this out. If they kill Junji, then we can get our Turgrid back. <laughs> I really want my Turgrid and then cast my... Would you just let me do that? Please. <laughs> just please. Let me get a Turgrid on the field and cast Invoke Despair so I can steal your shit. Like, come on. <laughs> do we... In... Do we Village Rights our Junji just to do that? You think they have counter magic? They might. I want my Turgrid. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Give us y'all stuff. Because they sacrifice. Yes, I was going to say, where's our triggers? There they are. Heck yes, what do we do? Plus two, plus two on Turgrid. Oh boy. Six damage. That feels good. That was so satisfying. So hard to do. But so satisfying. Give me all your stuff. Plus two, two. I don't know. Let's go this way. Whatever. Oh, I should have woken up the hive. That would have been lethal. Yes, it would have. Ah, sorry, opponent. That was oopsie. Oops. My bad. Completely forgot about hive. We've just been using it for mana for so long, and I got so excited about the invoke despair and all that stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's just go. There we go. That was fun. Hey, <laughs> <sighs> yep. Like it. The eye twitch right away. I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's a little bit in the future there. Back down with an eye twitch. Nobody runs village rights anymore, right? Everybody runs deadly disputes. You gonna try to exile something? 
thinking I, I can't hit it because I got a deadly dispute. No, you do that. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I sacrifice yet. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess we do for card draw. Why not? Let's just sack this. Uh, I don't know what I do for the learn yet. I guess we always... It's not like we have a lot of mana. We just have three. So I guess I usually default to... Uh, yeah. Whenever I make that decision for that reason. Yeah, Shuffler's fine. Three Twitches. A whole shit ton of lands in a row. Of course, after I uh, draw this card. Or take this card for my learn. Ay ay ay. Well, on the good news, we have some expensive spells, so we're on our way. No attack. We are uh, jump blocking until we can blood on the snow or invoke despair. Yada yada yada. So we're looking at an angel deck here. Mono white angels from Antariax. Antariax? Ooh. That would be nice to get rid of. They're going to be playing. Two mana land. They can pay, play a six mana angel next turn if we don't get rid of it. And we don't currently have any spot removal. So, do we block? What do we learn? Pest summoning? Maybe? No, it's one damage. I don't know. Let it go. Okay, that's not bad. I see we just do this now. Do we attack with our eye twitches? I don't know if that matters either. And they get one more attack with their Valkyrie? Yeah, let's do it that way. I still don't know what I want to learn. I want something from the lesson board, not discard and draw. Unless we start getting a lot more lands. <laughs> like, we went through a solid land patch, but we drew through it fast with village raids. So, uh, and we fished up another land already and gain life with Enviro Sciences. So the Soul Shatter hits their guy. Yeah, I guess I wasn't really explaining that as I was thinking it. I was looking at their mana cost, two mana, three mana, because this hits the highest mana. So that means they have to sacrifice the highest mana cost. If they have multiple cards that are equal in the highest mana cost, they choose which to sacrifice. But in this case, it was only one. So that's why I checked that. And I bet they have a Valkyrie Harbinger. And that's why they're not cast. They were hoping to cast a six mana angel for four mana. Now we're starting to flood a little bit. But we can draw two cards, hit them for four. And make them sack their Valkyrie. And then hit him for another two for a total of six. That's dirty. Attack in again. Just get that two damage in. They have something instant speed. Yeah, it's just stick there for some reason. But let's do this. All right, sack your creature. Take four more life. Give us some more cards. I I don't even know what to say. <laughs> How much mana we got? We're going to have seven next turn. When we play out the one in our hand. So uh, I think I'm going to sack some eye twitches and get some stuff. I have enough mana to sack two eye twitches, so I'm going to sack... Two. And we're going to get Pests and Removal. See, that's our Harbinger I was predicting. Oh, uh, should I have went maybe... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is delicious. Change of plan. I mean, we're still doing the same learn these two cards go together these two. holy freaking cards in my hand pedal to the metal ladies and gentlemen yep get rid of that give us some more cards oh damn where's turgrid <laughs> has anybody seen turgrid where turgrid 
Yeah, let's make him discard because it's just a filthy thing to do. We're exactly a seven card. <laughs> That's insane. Pick a card that we will discard for you. Removal, nice. Let's get rid of it. I'm surprised they haven't played that on the... Well, I guess they don't like these little... We haven't had anything super powerful on the board. Our powerful stuff has been our removal and our invoke despairs. Man, I love that card. Love that card. How many wild cards did I use on it? One or two? I'm not sure. I have three copies. If, I'm, if I've used two, then I want to wait till the mastery's done to see if I can crack any more for free. And, uh, but I can't remember if I used two wild cards or not. Or if I got two copies and then used one wild card for the third. Ow! You took my card draw thingy. Oh, now you're exiling something too, you scoundrel. Probably should have went for gas because then we wouldn't get the learn. Oh, well, we have no sacrifice anyways. We can't get rid of their enchantment. Board wipe is no good with blood on the snow. We can get something back, but we're just killing our own eye twitch for what? Right? There's nothing powerful enough to get out of this, uh, our graveyard to really justify a board wipe or a blood on the snow right now. Well, if our gas dies, or gas, uh, eye twitch dies, we can bring it back and we can get something like uh, mascots. Is that the play? Mascots would put some pressure on the board. I think we do it. Do we get the eye twitch? I kind of want for more learn, right? Can't cast it this turn, but that's fine. Get some more little bodies on the field. Turgor would have been nicer a long time. Oh, there she is. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um... Attack all in, I guess. Maybe play Turgor or go Mascots. Or I'm thinking Lantern. Let's see how much damage they take, because Lantern could be pushing lethal at them, throwing lethal at them constantly. Four mana to play, we have nine. So we could easily tap it and untap it and tap it again. Ouch. How dare you. I don't think we need the treasure. Let's just do that to make the block less appetizing. Now Lantern is sitting at lethal. This is gonna be super annoying. Three life or sack something. Or discard a card. You can sack this and sack this or just lose the game. But you're gonna be doing it again. And I don't want them to draw a card. This is why we're doing this during our turn. I don't want a card in their hand. I want them to sacrifice everything so we get our A, get our stuff back. <laughs> now they draw their card. And we just, like, just got them by the throat. Like, attack all, and then start lantern. We should have lantern first. That was silly of me, now that I think about it. And again, with no cards in hand, they have one permanent to sacrifice. We untap, do it again. And they just lose now. GG's. Mm. I love you. I love you, Invoke Despair. You're my favorite. I, yeah. When it comes to this card, I think I may be in love. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. How many of these do I have in the deck? I thought it, was it just three? I thought it was just three. Cyborg so lands. Like, zero out of, yeah, I only have three. Wow. Oh, go away. 
<laughs> uh, make him discard. They're going to be ninjutsu or trying to ninjutsu. We have eye twitch. Yeah, let's do it. Save the eye twitch for block. We don't have village rights on uh, held up, but yeah, we do have a blocker, so they can't uh, get this in unblocked. Eye twitch to the rescue, flying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what you gonna do now when you can't ninjutsu? Huh? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Damn it. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> yeah, no matter what, they get to ninjutsu. <laughs> we can't block it. <sighs> well, we might as well attack with this guy. Like, we can't block that. Can't block that. I Twitch will block that, so that guy's getting in anyways. End turn. Let's get a little poke in there. Oh, shit. Well, we couldn't have... Well, I mean, maybe. We village rights, we maybe could have hit a one-drop. Highly unlikely that uh, that we would have... Yeah, so they're getting their card draw on two damage. That sucks. Unless they ninjutsu it. Ooh, yeah, what you do now? <laughs> you going to get your card draw or are you going to ninjutsu? What you going to do? Yeah, you take your card draw. Damn it. Either way, I'm not happy. <laughs> I don't want them to do anything that's good for them. Let's get rid of this so we don't take damage from it. Creature's very useless at this point now with that enchantment on it. What is with the lands? Man. Are you freaking kidding me? At least we got invoked a spare next turn. Which one will they sack though? That's the question. They're, they've got that stupid wolf with freaking card draw or card advantage. They don't don't want to cast two spells a turn now though because uh, they do that. Okay, well they can get their guy. We block it, but uh, yeah. Be nice to get some removal or just you know like more options for stuff. One mana. What is this? Two mana. This is also two mana. So. Soul Shatter, they would choose between these two creatures. I think Blood on the Snow might be a good follow-up to Despair. What's Despair? Hopefully they don't counter. They might. They do have blue, so... That's uncool. Don't do it. Ugh, they're going to do it too. Don't. Oh, they chose a creature to sacrifice, right? The. <sighs> so we don't need flying. We've got our double spells now. We got it low enough costing stuff. We still can't block that. Do we attack anyways? No. There's no point. We maybe get one damage in. What do we do with our despair? Four damage to them. What are they at? Fifteen. So yeah, we've only done... We've poked them for one once, and then did four damage for a total of five. They've hit us twice with this wolf, and here they come again, and we can't do anything about it. We gotta try to double spell. As soon as we untap mana too, because we have village rights now, we can village rights our, our gas and minus one that piece of poo. That's not bad. We can get stuff out of our graveyard. I think it's just a creature of planeswalker. Creature of planeswalker, that's it, yeah. Just a creature of planeswalker. Let's throw down Chef. That way we can minus one that thing. We still have village rights available. Um, I 
do want to cast another, another well, do we really need to, if we can kill this, we, do we really need to flip it today? I don't think we do. So, let's go to combat, and let's just attack with everybody. I don't think we'll need a blocker. We might for this guy. Yeah, probably will for this guy. Let's just poke away with eye twitch. Call that a turn. You could have woken up a hive too. Shoot, I didn't realize that, yeah. And we still, I wanted to save village rights, but uh, we would have had, it's only one mana, so we would have had it. We would have, no we wouldn't have. Yeah, because we would have tapped one, the hive to attack. The hive would have been the untapped land, and we would have, when we attacked with it, it would have tapped, so. I knew there was a reason I didn't do that. Ew. Getting another unblockable piece of poo. At least this one doesn't give them uh, card draw. So we minus one here. And then we can sacrifice Dockside Chef to Village Rights. I should have kept the Twitch un untapped because then we could have blocked their guy here without trading, but how does this work? Um, plus or minus two, no, plus one, draw a card, then just, uh, unless you attacked this turn. Doesn't matter if we block and kill or whatever, as it just cost a spell, you may exile any number of, uh, phase out, so they're phasing that out, which means they can't attack with it anyways, for now. We get a card draw, that's pretty cool. They're still gonna attack. Um, just let it, because it's still going to, I was going to block it, but you know what, they're still going to get their card draw, because they attacked anyways, and we're not killing it, so, yeah. They used, like, all their mana on their turn, though. Well, they're going to get a treasure, so they're still going to have one. They can exile stuff if they have another one of these. I'm thinking about them protecting their wolf again, because during our turn, we can go gas and then sack the gas to try another minus one. And I'm pretty sure during our turn, this is still going to be phased out. So they can't use it for blocker. They only have one mana with the, with the treasure. Is that the turn they played him? Oh, that was the turn they played him too. That's right. Oh, I should have village rights the eye twitch. I was planning on then. I got so distracted by just everything else. <laughs> so we can't even attack uh, Kato or Kaito or whatever. Anything in the graveyard I'm really anxious to get rid of. Maybe this guy. I don't know if they can get stuff back out of the graveyard. Maybe. Maybe they can. We can. They probably have some of these lands, so... And we can't shoot down this guy yet. We have to wait for their turn. Which means they're going to untap. That's really crappy. So they can probably protect it again. We will have one swamp untapped. If we do this. For our village rights. We won't have mana for this though. Is it that important to exile something out of their... Grave? I don't think so. Let's just end turn. Did we double cast? I didn't realize. Either way, oh crap. I forgot about that. Yep. Okay. Well, it's a draw and discard though, so I mean it's still good for them, and it's still good that they have this on. Yeah, he wasn't getting plus before because he was a wolf, not a rogue. So I can't block with that. That's, I guess, not too bad. We still got Shambling Gas. Oh, wow. I guess not. Holy crap. Like, let's just everything. Why not? Um, do, 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 do. Sure. Sure. 
Do we want to trade our land? How many land? We got seven. We're going to have eight coming up. Seven should be fine. We can trade one of our hives for this guy. Not the worst in the world. Mitigates a lot of damage too. So they draw and discard, so they don't really get any value out of it then, which is actually really nice. I don't like this guy. What's his uh, ultimate? You get an emblem whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player. Search your library for a blue or black creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. That sounds pretty nasty. Still, what, two, two loyalty away. So we sack somebody here. Sure. Then we don't take damage from it on our upkeep. And I think it's looking like a pretty sweet blood on the snow with a mascot follow-up. Oh. Yes. And then we do this, and they probably have to sack Kaito after that. They might have counter magic, maybe. That would be awful. I haven't seen it so far. There hasn't really been much of a stick so far. Let's do it. I don't know what we get back yet. Oh, there's stick. Literally one card in their hand. Okay, good. <laughs> what do we get back? They have one card in hand? Dirty. <laughs> Either cast it or lose it. Ah, oh, it's a land? Well, at least we know now, right? There's no more guessing. sucks is they have their own hive of the eye tyrant. Nasty. It's like your defenses aren't even there. Nasty, nasty, nasty. They already used this Kaito's thingy ability, so they're gonna get this attack. That sucks. We won't be able to soul shatter and uh, mascot next turn, which really sucks. We have a lot of soul shatters. We could soul shatter like a few times. We're something cool, like Turgrid or Junji or another Invoke Despair. Come on. <laughs> I mean, these are pretty cool, and we hit three of them in a row. Again, shuffling, right? We have seven plus... We have seven lands, which is... This is eight. If we throw this down, we can get nine and cast all three of them. All their creatures, currently. And not... Five, six, ooh. No, but we don't have enough mana to attack with Hive. They block. You know what? Kaito's their highest mana cost anyways. We just cast this and they have to sack it. We need blockers. We're running really low on health. Do we do Kaito now? Kato? Whatever. No, I think we go mascots. We need the creatures. We need a we need a board presence. I don't think we have any creature that's phenomenal to get back with this yet. No attacks. Do we throw use our treasure for eye twitch? Let's hold off on that for a second. I kinda wanna keep that treasure. I'm holding off on playing this, or as a land, because uh, I kind of want to cast it as our channel it. Not cast it, channel it. So, okay. Here goes that. One unblockable token. Oh, man. They've got, they, they have treasures up. Four mana. They could do that stupid creature that, and we don't have the mana to soul shatter, yeah. What's that, that green one? I was using it the other day, yeah. Uh, so we have to double black that stupid hive. 
Okay, well, let's just do this here. Take care of Hive. We still have flying. And a 4-4. Four four. And one of our other two here, one of these two. One of them's not going to die. Yeah. And that we can't block, so is this that Springleaf Avenger? No, okay, but it does take our health down a bit because it's gonna, they're going to give it lifelink or something lifelink. Oh, they give that death touch so we don't keep our 4-4. Four four. Interesting. We can double shatter next turn to get rid of this guy and... Oh, man. Or do we triple shatter? Their, their hive is dead. We need blockers still for this guy. And we can wake up a hive if we sack the token. But we're just hanging on by a thread. So we play that in end turn, no attacks. Just too low on health. They've been top decking for a while, so we've got a bit of control that way that we haven't been doing that yet. So they're still pecking away at us. Can we double cast Soul Shatter? No. So they get the damage. I say we show blah, 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 Soul Shatter again. So now they only have this. We can Soul Shatter that if we want to. Genji's kind of nice. Still can't block that. Which is a pain in the dingus. Although we can Genji and Soul Shatter without sacking the uh, treasure. Again, we can't block the creature they currently have. So we go, I say, balls to the walls here. Well, not full balls because we didn't, uh, you know, activate our creature lands. <laughs> so let's end turn, see what they play pre-combat, if anything. And we maybe, if they go to attack with this token, we soul shatter it. I really don't want to soul shatter that damn little friggin' token. But we're at two health. We can't afford to lose any more. Not even one. Like, that's, we got to hang on to every bit of health we have now. <laughs> so lose that. Any non-dragons they have that look cool. For us, not really. Yeah! What a... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Two life, baby! Yeah! Oh my god, what a game. <laughs> and where the heck is Targrid? Okay, so those were the games. <laughs> Pretty freaking awesome. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun with Turgrid decks back when she was first printed in Kaldheim. Uh, the deck was different back then. Uh, a lot of these cards were not available. There were a lot of different cards that were really good in a Turgrid build, a mono black Turgrid build. And uh, I've dabbled with a few Golgari Turgrid builds over the, the months, almost basically, actually full year, the last year since uh, she's been printed about a year now. But anyways, uh, yeah, and I've experimented with some other builds, but you know, mono black, that's what Turgrid's all about. We got this Invoke Despair now, which is all about sac making our opponents sacrifice their, their stuff. We've got Junji, which is about uh, making our opponents sacrifice their stuff or discard their cards and lose two life. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, well, Soul Shatter's always been around. Acquis uh, bleh, acquisition Experts always have been around. And these have both, even the Acquisition Expert as well, they've both been really good with Turgrid over the time. Um, there is Elderfang Disciple, I believe which is pretty much the same as Acquisition Expert. So it's like, why didn't why, Kyle wanted to run three copies of Elder Fang Disciple instead of Acquisition Expert? Well, Elder Fang Disciple is the exact same mana cost, and you get a 1-1. One, one. So that's the main reason right there. Um, like, as, as you know, we have no party synergy, so this is never going to trigger for more than one. Our opponent's always going to pick one card to show us, and we're going to get to choose from that one card what to discard. So they're basically, they're just choosing one card to discard. It's no different than Elder Fang Disciple. But you get that extra one point of toughness, and that's literally, it makes all the difference. It just, it, that one point can really make the difference with Meat Hook Massacres. Like, you just, it, you'd be surprised. Like, that one point can, not always, not always, but sometimes that point just makes the world of difference. <laughs> Uh, so that's why it's not Elder Fang Disciple. I already explained why in the introduction why I have a Village Rights instead of Deadly Dispute. Um, we kind of get a Deadly Dispute effect with uh, Dockside 
chef anyways so i explained a lot of the deck in the introduction and just another reminder for you all to let me know what you think of the deck in the comments for this video comment just to support the channel as well also make sure you hit the thumbs up under the video to support the channel and the video as well and uh, anything i miss yeah just do all that all that great stuff subscribe thumbs up comment i think you said yeah do it all thank you thanks for watching see you all the next video have a great day cheers <laughs>